Number two, write the following isotopes in nucleide notation. And for example, they give us an example here with a 14 on the top, a 6 on the bottom, and a C. And in this case, we have to do the same type of notation with oxygen 14. Okay, now in this example, there's three components, right? There's a big element letter on the right side. I had to hold up my hands, make the two L's to make sure that I'm saying left and right properly. Does anybody still do that? I have to do it. So we have a big element uh, letter on the right side, and then you have a number on the top, and then you got a number on the bottom. So we just have to fill in these three parts. The easiest part to do first is to find out what the element is. Now in this case, we know, or they tell us, that we have oxygen. What is the elemental lettering for oxygen? Now, if you don't know offhand, you could always go to the periodic table and find out where oxygen is. Oxygen is right over here on the periodic table. Okay, so it's just big old O. So we get O for the, the element. And now we have a number, 14. Now, when they say oxygen 14 or carbon 12 or nitrogen 15, that number is always the atomic mass or the mass number. Doesn't matter which one you say, but just make sure that you have the word mass in there. And this is the bigger number of the two. There's an atomic mass and an atomic number. The atomic mass, gotta go in one of these boxes, the atomic mass always goes on the top. So the atomic mass will be in the top place. And in this case, it's gonna be 14. The bottom number represents the atomic number. And it should be always smaller than the atomic mass. But the thing is, well, oxygen 14. How are we gonna know what the atomic number is? Well, for every element, the atomic number never changes. That's always the number of protons. So on the periodic table, there is a eight number. All of your uh, whole numbers, don't look at the decimals, but the whole numbers, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right, 18, 36, those are your atomic numbers. And for oxygen, it's going to be a 8. So 8 goes on the bottom. And that's basically the answer. So we have a 14 on the top, an 8 on the bottom, and an oxygen. And that's what this is. So, oh. There you go. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And we have memberships now. So if you want to, you can become a membership and help the channel even more. You get cool special perks. So go check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you in later lessons. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.